Hey there folks, Karshal here. Welcome back to our permadeath run in No Man's Sky Next Iteration. Today we are going to go out and see what kind of trouble we can find. I might go do a little bit of ship shopping. I'm still looking for a decent multi-tool. You know, this thing is just not good at all. Granted, it's better than the starting one that we had, but um, in comparison to what is available out there, it's pretty sad. Our ship is still a Class B, which isn't terrible, but I think we can do better, and I really would like to get into a fighter. Uh, I have not worked so far on really upgrading our exosuit slots or anything else yet, because initially it just we didn't have the cash for it. Now that that's not as big of an issue, we're okay with that. The freighter, for now, I'm quite pleased with, simply because, you know, 19 slots is going to take a while to fill up, and a Class A ship is pretty good. Probably should fly over and check on the uh, mission status. I'm not sure if there's a way to do that from here. Oh, let me see. Assemble fleet and begin. Inspect, construct fleet. I thought I did that. Maybe I did not. Okay, maybe that should be our goal now. I really don't like the way this fighter looks, but I'm going to look at it anyway. Because I do want to have a fighter upgrade just to be able to do a little bit better job than flying a tub when something jumps me. It's Class B, but only 19 slots. I am not interested, especially since I have seen... What were they, the 38 slot ones in that other system? So I'm far more likely to go with those. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to need gold, silver, and tritium to be able to build the fleet room. So... Let's look for a little bit of an asteroid field, which should not be hard to find. Yep, speak of the devil. Now I've got a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver, plenty of tritium. I think that I'm going to need more gold. I wonder if I can pull up the build menu. I cannot. Now, I do not have my gamepad hooked up at the moment. So, this is all being done with just mouse, and in all honesty, that's what I prefer. Jumping back to the space station so I can dump aggro once it clicks over, if necessary. Okay. A single ship, I'm not going to particularly worry about it. Maybe I should, but, you know, hey, I've been wimpy enough. I should be able to deal with that. Now, how's my gold supply doing here? Well, there's finally some. I sure wasn't getting much. There's a little bit more. Up to 43. Okay, where is he at? Where is he at? And there he's at.
He's actually quite a ways away, so while that may be a threat detected, it's not much of a threat. There's some gold. So, at this point 50, I'm going to say that probably is going to be enough. Okay, where is my freighter? Okay, the white one down here. I'm surprised I did not hit that rock. And I get the impression that that pirate ship is heading toward my freighter. Above or below? There we go. I am above. So let's see if we can build that uh, fleet command room. And it looks like the hostile ship, if it is still out there when we get down here, is going to be an explorer class. That shouldn't be too, had, too hard to deal with. They're not made necessarily for attacking. Oops, autopilot got me. That's where the entrance used to be in ships. Okay, I think that I want to put my fleet command room right there, provided it will allow me to. Boom. Fleet command room. So what don't I have that I need? Oh, I bet you I got those in the ship. I bet you I do. Gold, 11. Oh, wait a minute. Did it auto-build? It did. I have very mixed feelings about that. But, welcome to our new fleet command room. One support frigate available. No frigate fuel bl blueprints available. Okay, give us, give us. Thank you, thank you. Dihydrogen and tritium. Okay, so I know tritium is easy to harvest from asteroid fields. I'm not sure about the dihydrogen. And it looks like I got three recipes for that. That's a good thing. Okay, let's go see our little geck buddy up here. Hello, Navigator Okla. What you got for an expedition for us? Balanced expedition, combat patrol... I am reasonably sure that my one little frigate that I have is probably not a fighter. I suppose I should look at that. Well, I'll look at that once I do it. Um, farther away it is, the more fuel, I imagine. A mining vessel. Okay. So... Yeah, we'll go with that. Fuel required, 50 tons, which I have. Launch expedition. Go for it. So that's going to take roughly an hour. Okay. Might as well check the galactic missions. Scan 17 creatures. Um, I think I would rather do that than kill the monstrosities. The monstrosities are boring. It's nice that they are there, you know, but I want more. It's kind of like easy mode. Now that, that I have an active mission, let's see what this looks like. Fleet command online. 
Can you tell I had coffee this morning? I can. Hundred and ninety eight light years and I estimate our plotted rate will take yeah an hour, okay. <laughs> no combat ability whatsoever. Okie dokie. But it's an industrial mission and he's an industrial specialist, so that should work out nice. I don't really know at this point what I'm looking for, so it isn't a huge deal. That's okay. I'm sure I'll get used to it in time. Now, since I found this freighter in this system, I'm probably going to drop back down to our base. And I might go shop ships and look for landing pads and do the multi-tool thing. Jumping back out of the ship to save it. Cut here. So now that we've got a good save, I'm going to pop back over to the space station and jump into the portal and drop back down to our base. Of course, that pirate ship might still be out here. I suppose I should check for that, shouldn't I? Actually, I am not seeing it anywhere. Nor any indication that he's still out here. And that's okay, because I do want to fight her. Now, that second system that we went to, that had all the good fighters, part of me wants to jump back there. But I would need to do some serious farming before I could do that. If I'm not mistaken, the portal is up on this side. Sometimes I get lucky. I'm going to check mission statuses as well, if I can pick up some new ones. That will only be to the good. What you got? Kill 14 creatures. Okay, I'll take it. Collect 250 chromatic metal. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Collect 250 pyrite. I've rarely seen pyrite, so for now I'm going to drop out of that one too. Well, no, I guess I'm going to grab it because there's no timeline. Whenever I get it done is whenever I get it done. And if I come across some decent metal deposits, then that probably wouldn't take long at all. I still do not feel I'm geared enough to do the sentinel kills. It's much more difficult here than it used to be. So... We'll keep out of that one. Um, and since I said I was looking at multi-tools, I suppose I ought to do that. I should have went over there before I came up to this site. Okay, that's not an ugly looking fighter to me. Granted, it's not what I'd prefer, but to me it's worth looking into. 25 slot B. How many tech slots? Only four. Good damage, weak shield. Straight across could exchange it. I'd be losing five slots. I'd be losing a type of drive upgrade, which I already have. So I think I'm going to decline on that one. Okay, let's check the multi-tool. I 
a Class A pistol 10 slot. Scanner is not terrible. Mining's got a little bit of upgrade to it. That might be worth doing. It's not what I would prefer, that's for sure. I think I'm going to pass for this one. And what upgrades do you have available? I didn't even look to see what... Okay, well, he doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. I wonder if they'll ever be okay with talking to me again. It's an interesting thought. And back over to the portal. And that drops us back to our base. There we go, back at our base. As you can see, I have done like nothing here. Haven't been spend any, any, spending any time here to speak of. I do still like this world. Not picking up anything new in this area. I think that I'm going to do some flying around. I probably will do a time lapse on the video. But I feel like flying today. I might also look at a new base location. Actually, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. If my goal is to look for a ship, then I need to be in the best station, best system I can be to do so. So while I am here, I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm going back to the other one. Okay, back into a Corvax system where I'm going to check into a multi-tool after I check into missions. And then we're going to go do a little bit of flybys for ship. I'll probably compress that video for you folks. But I do want to upgrade to a fighter. Okay, he has no new missions for me because this is where my other missions came from. That's okay. And we've got a Traveler. So I think I might pick up another Glyph. I do. Excellent. So that should be a, a second Gravestone. Unless they've really changed things up. That will open up a second Glyph. Checking the multi-tool before we take off. Okay, now that's a nice looking multi-tool. See, now that's what I'm talking about. It's a class C, but it's got enough slots that I could put in whatever upgrades I wanted to. So to me, that is far more attractive than the wimpy little thing that I got now. You know, which is a pistol class. This is an experimental class. Oh, yeah, I think there's no question. We're going to spend our cash right here. I will have to build in, well, equally on the same. But this gives me so much more capability. New multi-tool acquired. Excellent. 
Now, do you have any blueprints that I want for it? Upgrade modules. Do you have any S classes? Mining beam. Uh, 423. That's an expensive module, but S class you can't really complain about. Scatter blaster. I don't have a scatter blaster in it. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be buying that. I am going to buy the mining beam module because mining beam is what this does. Power output and heat tolerance are significantly increased, so I probably will not need to refuel it as much. Good, good, good. Plasma launcher. I don't have one on it. Plasma launcher. Scanner module. 286. Do I have enough for that? Hurry up. Finish counting down. Let's go. I do. Upgrades scan radius as increasing the value of the discovery. So we're going to grab that one as well. Okay. Now, multi-tool. Now... Okay, so I cannot get to them by just clicking on it. I have to do it this way. E to install. And go to the multi-tool. Now, I don't know if it makes a bit of difference. In the past, it used to matter if you stacked units. So I'm going to put the scanner right next to the scanner and see if that further buffs things up. Although I have nothing to compare it to, so I don't know how I'm going to check that. Mining Beam, again, install. And put that right there. Fuel efficiency, negative 21. Mining speed, plus 20. Heat dispersion, plus 40. Reload time cut, 17. Oh my lord. Fauna analysis resort, 5,000%. Flora analysis, 5,000%. Yeah. Okay, those might start becoming viable as uh, ways to make more money now. And looking at the time, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here, folks. Thank you for joining me. I will look forward to having you here on the next run. Until then, Kashal out.